I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, Roger State University, and by viewers like you. The Riverfield Ravens and the Hilldale Hornets are here as we continue the 10th season of I Want Answers. Hello everyone and welcome back to our 10th season of Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. I'm your host, Anna Berry, and I'm so excited to be back with you again this year. Now, you may notice we've made a few changes due to the pandemic. Now, in order to maintain social distancing, only two of the four players will be competing at a time, and they'll be rotating between rounds. Our contestants will be wearing masks, and we are following all the cleaning and safety protocols behind the scenes to make sure we keep everyone safe. Now, the first two teams this season are two returning teams. We've got the Riverfield Ravens and the Hilldale Hornets. These teams are competing for a chance at $12,000 in scholarship money that will be awarded in the championship at the end of this season. Let's start off by meeting the first two players from Riverfield. All right, we've got team captain Nathan Brubaker, welcome. And we've got Tucker Beach, sophomore and junior. Welcome, Riverfield. And let's meet our Hilldale Hornets. We've got team captain Anna Green, Junior, welcome. And we have junior Michael Carlton. Welcome, Hilldale. Welcome, Riverfield. You teams ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, excited to be here? All right, audience, excited too? Now, I know that you all want some questions, but remember the show's about what I want and what do I want? Answers. Yeah, you got that right, good job. Let's begin our competition with the speed round. First up, the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answer questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. All right, teams, here we go. This yearly April celebration has highlighted the conservation of natural resources since 1970. Riverfield? Earth Day? Yes. The South and Midwest are especially susceptible to what weather phenomenon caused when cold air from the Great Plains hits warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico? Riverfield? Tornadoes? Yes. What word refers to the altitude of a city or mountain above sea level? Riverfield? Elevation? Yes. Written by James Madison and added to the Constitution in 1791, the first 10 amendments are known collectively by what name? Hilldale? Bill of Rights. Yes. El Nino derives its name from the fact that it usually appears around which holiday? Christmas. Superstring theory claims that there are more than three of these plus time. They count 10, including time. 10 what, Riverfield? Dimensions? Yes. Which French philosopher famously said, I think, therefore I am? Riverfield? Descartes? Yes. Now we have a math question. Its height is two feet. Its length and width are both four feet. What is the total surface area of this box? Hilldale? 32 feet. Nope. Riverfield? All right. The answer is 64 square feet. Back to speed. The Analex, the Analex contained the thoughts of China's great ethical thinker whose influence is still very much alive. Name this philosopher and teacher. Riverfield? Confucius? Yes. What type of facility is needed to transform uranium into plutonium? Riverfield? Reactor? Yes. Which great lake is farthest east? Riverfield? Ontario? Yes. In 1928, she became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. And in 1937, she mysteriously disappeared. Riverfield? Amelia Earhart? Yes. At 
0.2 square miles. This is the world's smallest nation, but has the most mail per person, including official mail still written in Latin. Which nation surrounded by Italy? Riverfield? Vatican City? Yes. Willis Tower in Chicago is the second highest building in the U.S. Used to be called what? Riverfield? Sears Tower? Yes, correct. I didn't know they changed their name. All right, we have a video question now. Hi, I'm Justin Alberti with the Grand River Dam Authority. Name two of the three present day states, not including Florida, which composed parts of the Kingdom of West Florida. Riverfield? Louisiana and Georgia? Nope. Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. In 2017, this state, with wind off the Pacific and lots of sunlight, passed a law to use entirely renewable energy by 2025. Riverfield? California? Yes. This important insect has been designated as Oklahoma's state insect. Which one? Riverfield? Praying mantis? No. Hilldale? Stick bug? No. It's the honeybee. Now we know. Good to know that one. In 2007, Oklahoma celebrated this anniversary with parades and fireworks, but also with building and restoration projects. What kind of anniversary celebration was so major? Riverfield? Statehood? No. It was statehood, but the correct answer is the centennial. What word is used to describe words that sound the same but are spelled differently, such as yolk as the wooden frame for draft animals and yolk for the center of an egg? Riverfield? Hominin? No. Hilldale? Homophone. Homophone is correct. All right, dozens of people in the U.S. have died and thousands have developed serious lung injuries from what unhealthy activity marketed as an alternative to cigarettes? Hilldale? D uh, dipping? No. Riverfield? Vaping? Yes, vaping. Now we have a math question. A farmer sells a load of wheat for $100. If the production price is four-fifths of the sale price, what is the profit? Hilldale? $80? No. Riverfield? $20? $20 is correct. All right, this planet's name is the name of the father of Jupiter in Greek mythology. He also has a day of the week named after him. Which Greek god and planet is this? Hilldale? Titan? No. Riverfield? Saturn? Yes, Saturn. In 1831, what English scientist discovered that electricity could be made to flow in a coil of wire moving in the magnetic field between the poles of a U-shaped magnet? Riverfield? Faraday? Yes. All right, that bell means time's up for the speed round. The score stands at 160 Riverfield and 20 Hilldale. Round two is coming right up. We'll be right back. Every day, the employees of the Grand River Dam Authority strive for excellence by focusing on the five E's. Employees, electricity, environmental stewardship, economic development, and efficiency. We do this by producing low-cost, reliable electricity that touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state. At no cost to the taxpayers, we also manage 70,000 surface acres of lakes and the scenic Illinois River. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity for Oklahoma. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work.
And welcome back to I Want Answers, presented by GRDA. Let's meet some new players for Riverfield. We have Caden Kesselring, welcome. And then for Hilldale, we have Aiden Dillon and Mo Wright. Welcome everyone. All right, you ready? Feeling good? Let's go because the Advantage Round is coming your way next. Next up, the Advantage Round. In this round, the teams face off by first attempting to answer a speed question. The team that answers correctly receives 10 points and the opportunity to answer three Advantage questions worth 10 points each. After the three Advantage questions, it's back to speed questions to determine who gets the next Advantage. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the Advantage questions must come from the team captain. Are we ready? Here comes your first speed. A man in England was convicted of a 2018 attack where he smashed the protective case holding what historically important 805-year-old document at Salisbury Cathedral? Hilldale? English Bill of Rights. No. Riverfield? Magna Carta? Yes, advantage for Riverfield, the U.S. Constitution. What are the first 10 amendments to the Constitution known as? <clears throat> The Bill of Rights? Yes. Although Washington, D.C. has a mayor and city council, which government body actually runs it? The Senate? No, Congress. The Providence Plantations and this small colony, now a state, did not send representatives to the Constitutional Convention. Rhode Island? Yes. All right, back to speed. In 1953, Dr. Jonas Salk announced that he had successfully tested a vaccine against the virus that causes this crippling disease. Riverfield? Polio? Yes. Advantage for Riverfield? Health. Name the viral disease affecting the central nervous system of mammals that is transmitted by bites. It can result in paralysis and death if left untreated. The correct answer is rabies. Name either of the respiratory diseases which were the cause of over 23% of deaths in the U.S. a century ago. Tuberculosis? Yes. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, they say. However, don't eat many of the seeds because they contain what poison? Cyanide. Yes. All right, back to speed. Two Indian groups of Mexico and Central America developed advanced civilizations that included written languages and large cities. Name them. Hildale? Aztec and Incan? No. Riverfield? Aztec and Mayan? Yes, Aztec and Mayan. Advantage for Riverfield. Literary quotes. In what novel does Meg say, it's so dreadful to be poor? <laughs> Little Women. In which Robert Louis Stevenson novel does the parrot Captain Flint squawk pieces of eight? Treasure Island? Yes. Atticus Finch's advice to his son with daughter Scout listening in, real courage is when you know you're licked before you begin, but you begin anyway and see it through no matter what. Sorry, <laughs> they've got to answer it. Catcher in the Rye? No, the correct answer is To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, right? <laughs> All right, back to speed. What part of speech comes in three forms? Positive, comparative, superlative. Riverfield? Adjective? Yes. Advantage for Riverfield? Ports. There is a U.S. naval base at what harbor on the island of Oahu? Pearl Harbor? Yes. This is the busiest port for cruises to the Bahamas and the Caribbean. No wonder it's less than 160 miles away. Miami? Yes. This megalopolis Chinese city is not the capital, but it's the busiest shopping por shipping port in the world. Hong Kong? No. Shanghai. Back to speed. This kind sounding metamorphic rock has alternating bands of dark and light colored minerals. What is it? Riverfield? Uh, nice. Yes. Advantage for Riverfield? Legal terms. What term is used for the breaking of a contract illegally? 
breach of contract? Yes. This term comes from the railing that separates the public in the courtroom from the lawyers and judges. If one is taking this type of exam, they are taking the test to become a lawyer. Bar. Yes. The large raised deck at which the judge sits is called this. You'll hear it said when the judge tells people they can approach this. Stand? No. The bench. Back to speed. What country has been hit with a four-year Olympics ban by the World Anti-Doping Agency? Riverfield? Russia. Yes. Advantage for Russia, laws of physics. Hooke's law says that a spring will go back to its original state when force is removed, so long as its what limit is not exceeded? Tension limit? No, the correct answer is elastic. This law states that equal volume of all gases under the same conditions of temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. Boyle's law? No. Avogadro's law. Newton's first law of motion is also known as the law of what? Inertia. Inertia? Yes. Back to speed. <clears throat> okay. President of more than one, president than more than a billion citizen, Xi Jinping is also general secretary of which political party? Riverfield? Chinese Communist Party? Yes. Advantage for Riverfield, we have author's pseudonyms. Samuel Clemens used this pseudonym to publish his works about life nearly a century ago on the Mississippi. Mark Twain? Yes. Charles Dodds Dodson published his tales of Alice under this name. Lewis Carroll. Raquel Jaramillo publishes her books on accepting others with facial abnormalities under this name. R.J. Palacio. Back to speed. An 11-mile hike on the Virginia side of the Potomac National Scenic Trail takes you to what estate, home of George Washington? Riverfield? Mount Vernon. Yes. Advantage for Riverfield? Napoleon Bonaparte. Who was Napoleon's famous first wife? I don't know that. that was Josephine. He began his Russian invasion in this year of Tchaikovsky's Overture. 1812? Yes. Napoleon replaced the kings of this French dynasty. Bourbon? Yes. Back to speed. This Dutch artist became one of the giants of art history, yet he received almost no recognition in his lifetime, even for his masterpiece, Starry Night. Riverfield? Van Gogh. Yes. Advantage for Riverfield, metal elements. This metal is used to galvanize other metals and is taken by some as a cold remedy. Bismuth? No. Zinc. It's used in making mirrors and jewelry and is also used in old-fashioned photography. Potassium? What's potassium? What? Potassium? No. Silver. This metal hardens steel, and it is named for the bright colors it can make. Its symbol is CR. Chromium. Yes. All right, well, that's all the time we have for the Advantage round. The score now stands at 390 for Riverfield and 20 Hilldale. But don't go anywhere. We've got one more round coming up next. At RCB Bank, you are not just a number. You are our neighbor, friend, coworker, PTA partner, business owner down the street, and so much more. We value our relationship with you. We are here to serve you at any of our locations or online at rcbbank.com. With over 50 locations across Oklahoma and Kansas, we're everywhere you need us to be. RCB Bank is your hometown community bank interested in your financial well-being. RCB Bank, that's my bank. I love coming into the lab every day. My job is to screen evidence for DNA analysis. When I started at Rogers State University, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But after I took my first chemistry class, I realized that I wanted to be in the lab. It does feel good to go to school 
and to find a direction and then wind up doing something that I enjoy. Not everyone can say that. It all started for me at Roger State University. And welcome back to I Want Answers presented by GRDA. Let's meet one new player on the Riverfield team. We have Kala Andrews. Welcome. All right, teams, you ready? Okay, we got one more round, and it's the whirlwind round that's coming up next. Next up, it's the whirlwind round. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories, and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer them. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Then, the other team gets their turn at one of three remaining categories. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If any team correctly answers all 10 of their questions, they will receive 10 bonus points. All right, well, Hilldale, your team is trailing right now. So your categories are Famous Fathers and Sons, Watery Borders, or World War II. So. World War II. World War II, picking for yourself? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. World War II. So, as quick as you can, answer these questions about World War II. On the day, on what day of the week was Pearl Harbor bombed? Saturday. No. What two nations declared war on the U.S. on December 11, 1941? Germany and Japan. No. What two ally leaders met on a ship in 1941 to craft the Atlantic Charter? U.S. and Germany? No. What city was bombed in 1942 air raid led by James Doolittle? Hiroshima. Yes. In what island group is Corregidor, which fell to the Japanese in 1942? Pass. All right. What world leader did his own generals attempt to kill by bomb in 1943? Japan. No. <clears throat> Name any two of the five countries on the other side of the Siegfried Line from Germany. So vlog, so vlog, crap, uh, pass. Okay, uh, June 6, 1944, Operation Overlord took place. What else is this day called? All right, it's fast. Good job, breathe. <laughs> All right, now we have Riverfield. Y'all get to pick between famous fathers and sons, watery borders, or animals. Animals. Animals? Yeah. I mean, animals. Okay. Animals. Answer these questions about animals. Which bird can outrun a racehorse? Ostrich. Ostrich? Yes. Which fish travels up to 1,000 miles upstream just to lay its eggs? Salmon. Yes. What is the only animal that sleeps on its back? Jaguar. Jaguar? No. What is the chief physical difference between lizards and snakes? Legs. Legs? Yes. Other than for flying, why do birds need feathers? Insulation? Yes. Which species of shark is the most dangerous? Great white. Yes. This is a liquid inside a skunk that gives it its pungent smell. Also descriptive adjective before deer, rat, and ox to name types Must. of these animals. Must? Yes. People sometimes confuse these other members of the Canis family with wolves, but these animals are much smaller than wolves and much shyer. Coyotes? Yes. What do bees collect to make honey? Pollen. Pollen? No. Name the smallest bear in South America. Uh, sun bear? Sun bear? Nope. All right. Good job. Good job, everyone. <laughs> All right. After these three rounds, the score currently stands at 460 Riverfield and 34 Hilldale. So let's go back to some speed questions to wrap up this game. Back to speed. Which ancient time measuring device with no energy source or even movement must be designed for a specific location on Earth? Riverfield? Sundial. Yes. A circuit board that adds capabilities like sound to a computer is known by what simple four letter word? Riverfield? Card? Yes. Thornton Wilder's novel, The Ides of March, deals with the last days of whose life? Riverfield? Julius Caesar. Yes. In less than a decade, what European event resulted in the systematic extermination of over 11 million people? Riverfield? Holocaust? Yes. 
What fundamental force produces an inverse square dependent attractive force between any two masses? Riverfield? Gravity? Yes. The eastern plains of Colorado have become ground zero for a vast array of what? Man-made items flying around in the night skies with no one knowing their source. Riverfield? Drones? Yes. Two major rivers have supported both ancient and modern civilizations. One of these is in the Euphrates. What is the other? Tigris. Yes. In this book and musical, Cosette is adopted by Jean Valjean and rescued from mistreatment. Riverfield? Yes. Sorry. The world's largest gold deposit is 3 billion years old, constitutes 40% of all gold ever mined, and is in the wit water sand basin of which nation? Hildale? Saudi Arabia. No. Riverfield? Peru? No. South Africa. He wrote a defense of the Constitution in 1787. Which statesman was the only other future president other than Jefferson to sing the Declaration of Independence? Hildale? Hamilton. No. Riverfield? Madison? No. John Adams. In the field of electricity, what is the more common name of non-conductors? Riverfield? Insulators? Yes. This architectural style uses brick stone and steeply pitched multi-gabled roofs. What is the style named for this English royal house whose reign ended in 1603? Riverfield? Victorian? No. Hildale? Gothic. No, it's Tudor. Tudor. Semitones are called half steps, also called half steps, are the smallest interval in Western music. Twelfth of them make up this basic unit of notes, such as A to the next A on the piano keys. O Riverfield? Octave? Yes, correct. In 1967, Jocelyn Bell Burnell discovered which extremely distant, rapidly rotating celestial objects named after their regular rapid emissions of radiation. Riverfield? Pulsar? Yes. Which Lord of the Rings wizard battled the Bal Balrog in the mines of the Misty Mountains? Riverfield? Gandalf. Yes. All right. That bell concludes tonight's competition. The final score stands at 580 Riverfield and 30 Hilldale. So that means Riverfield is our winner tonight. Great job, both teams. So Riverfield will advance to our second round. We'll see them again in a couple of weeks. Okay, everyone, thank you teams for playing and thank you audience for watching as we showcase the knowledge of our local Green Country High School academic teams. Be sure to follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, you can catch up on past episodes anytime at rsu.tv. We'll see you next time for another exciting competition on I Want Answers. I Want Answers is presented by the Grand River Dam Authority. Additional funding provided by the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, RCB Bank, Roger State University, and by viewers like you.